Hello, Terry Bailey again, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church, discussing in a series of brief lessons the way that the kingdom and the church, the people of God, see advances during times of trouble. Last time, we read from the prophecy of Zechariah and the trouble that fell upon the Persian Empire to help send the Israelites home from their captivity. I'd like to read this time from the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, the first seven verses. The oracle which Habakkuk the prophet saw, How long, O Lord, will I call for help, and you will not hear? I cry out to you violence, yet you do not save. Why do you make me see iniquity and cause me to look on wickedness? Yes, destruction and violence are before me. Strife exists, contention arises. Therefore the law is ignored and justice is never upheld. For the wicked surround the righteous, therefore justice comes out perverted. Look among the nations, observe, be astonished, wonder, because I am doing something in your days that you would not believe if you were told. For behold... I am raising up the Chaldeans, that fierce and impetuous people who march throughout the earth to seize dwelling places which are not theirs. They are dreaded and feared. Their justice and authority originate within themselves. Now, somewhere in the middle of the passage there, without much announcement, we change from the complaint of the prophet Habakkuk to the answer of the Lord God. Habakkuk saw that the society of his day among the children of Israel was corrupt and perverted. And he just wanted to know how long God was going to put up with this state of affairs. Wouldn't he do something about it? And God said, well, as a matter of fact, I am just about to. Something that you wouldn't believe if I told you it's going to be so drastic. I'm sending the Chaldeans, and they're going to give this society a drubbing like they have not imagined. And the chapter goes on to describe more and more about the fierce, unrelenting hostility of the Chaldeans and the trouble they are going to cause for the society of Israel. And and when the description is finished, Habakkuk's reaction is, well, don't you think that's a little harsh? It's easy to wish that God would do something to restore a society. And it's hard to bear the things that God does when he moves. But it is always worthwhile. The affliction that the Jews underwent at this time helped reform them and brought a little more time in which they could serve the purposes of God. This time of trouble arose partly in response to the prayer of the faithful Habakkuk. And when we see times of trouble today, again we should know that this is a time when the Spirit of God is moving and the kingdom can be advanced and we can redeem our times and purchase space for our people to come back to God. Let us not fail as his people to step into the breach of the current crisis. If you would pray with me. Father, I know that your hand is in all things and that you strive through the whirlwind and the earthquake and the calamity, to call your people to you. And I pray again that at this moment, we, your people, would be faithful to extend that call and to know that souls can be brought to Jesus Christ for eternal salvation. 
Let us not neglect this opportunity, for we ask it in his name. Amen.